Get off my bridge. Boom, my bridge. Come on back. I'm not done with you, fool. Oh my gosh. He's knocking on the octane shield. I'm going to whack him with my axe. There we go. Bang, get wrecked. Ooga booga. That means ooga booga. In uh, caveman speak, it means exactly like it sounds. I was just yelling to my dogs up there in the surface world. Ooga and booga. We're coming home, guys. <laughs> So yeah, Ooga and Booga are the tame dogs back at the Ooga Booga cave up there in the surface world. That crack right there leads to the surface world. You can see the little clouds floating around up there. So yeah, I think we're going to head back there potentially today. Um, this could be the last episode here in the Between Lands, at least for a little while. We might come back here another time, but I feel like we've been here long enough, several episodes in a, in a row. And I kind of want to head back. And get some stuff done back in the um, back in the normal world. We can work on our advancements here. Where were we? We were on age two before we got sidetracked with the between lands, which is a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong; I really like it down here. And there's a lot of stuff to do down here. Those are all tabs for the between lands. But I feel like we should get back and uh, go see our pets. I mean, they haven't been fed in a few days. Um, and then start working on some of this other stuff here, like the the astral mod whatever the name of this mod is i forget but um yeah so we'll, we'll take a look at that later but there's a few things i want to do here first since we just spent a lot of time down in the depths of between lands and we got some valinite shards right we got some life crystals i found a bunch more middle gems um all this kind of stuff and i'd like to make up um oh we want to identify these scrolls too so yeah i'd like to uh to maybe go back with some souvenirs and maybe even some valinite armor because valinite is the equivalent of diamond and this stuff is really good look at that sword seven damage right but there's also like this shield looks really really cool and the armor is super nice so i'm thinking maybe we can make a full suit of valinite armor look at that axe guys holy cow it's a nine damage wowzers uh yeah i think we're gonna make that I think we'll make an axe before we head head out of here. The only problem is we don't want to make it too soon because it will start to corrode. So maybe we'll make that just before we leave. Although armor does not armor does not corrode. So we could just make we could make some armor. I mean, how much valinite is it gonna take? Let's see. Yeah, I think we have enough to make a full suit of armor. Let's do that. Let's make a full suit of armor first. And then we'll use whatever is left over. Uh, and make um, well, at least an axe and maybe some other stuff. So what else is there? There's booties, right? Yeah, booties. So there we go. Now, the only thing is these do not have... Um, we don't have any gems in them. So we're going to have to put some gems in them. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to distribute these gems because they do different things. Like, I'm thinking the crimson goes on the axe, so it does more damage. These, uh, The green and the blue probably on the armor. Um, well, let's put a green in the chest plate, right? Because that is going to absorb damage when attacked, which seems pretty good. And it looks cool, too. Or we can put red in there and it'll, and it'll act like thorns, right? <laughs> I don't know. So many choices. But does red and pink really go? Not really. Kind of like the green. Um, yeah, let's go with the green. That'll absorb. Um, you can always swap these things out, too, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Oops. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll lose the other gem. But if we want to change it later, we can. I'm going to put that on. I love the blue, to be honest. But this um, pink stuff's better. So let's just go ahead and put the whole suit on. And then I'm going to figure out how... Uh, which gems I want to use. Oh, look at that, guys. Styling and profiling. Although, honestly, I like this helm better. Love that helm with the nose guard. <laughs> Alright. Well, anyway, let's... Uh, Let's do something else. Let's let's put the stuff away for now. I'm definitely going to get to all of the armor and stuff later. But there's one other thing I want to do before we go. And that is to make an animator and animate. Uh, find out what these item scrolls are. Well, I mean, they're item scrolls right now. But when we animate them, they could potentially become very powerful and unique items. In fact, why don't we just go ahead and do it right now. We'll make this animator. Which I believe, let's look it up. Animator. Uh, White's heart, stone, and planks. Okay, I think we got all that. Bam! That's simple. Look at that. 
Let's go put it up here on the second floor. And look at that, looks very nice. We'll scroll there. Um, I'm not really sure how to use this thing. I guess we just put, we'll put sulfur in it somewhere, the life crystal somewhere. <laughs> So it knows exactly where to go. And this has a charge in it, by the way. Right now it's got 100% remaining. But this will be um, discharged over time as it powers the animator. And as far as I know, we can recharge these crystals with... Oh, with White's Hearts. Okay. All right, well, that's good. We get plenty of those. All right, cool. And then we take an item scroll. Uh oh, here it goes. It's going. Listen to that, so cool. Oh, check it out! There's a little fire down here, a little sulfur fire. And you can see the crystal there, which is powering it up, I guess. And then you got the item scroll floating up above the tower. A uh, tower, uh, the table. And uh, then you got the runes going from the scroll into the item. Uh, the item scroll, that's really cool. So now I guess we just wait. Okay, it's taking quite some time, isn't it? We're going to get a super unique item here, hopefully. What is that? It's a Critter Cruncher! <laughs> uh, it's good as new. It's a Critter Cruncher. I don't know what it's useful for, but these are all unique items. They have unique names. And they're um, super effective against certain items, uh, certain critters. I guess this is a, it's a Critter Cruncher, so it probably will kill critters. I don't know what kind of critters. Uh, oh! Oh, here's a volunteer right here. Snail. Hi, Snail. Oh my gosh, critical hit. We did it. Advancement made. <laughs> With the Critter Cruncher. One enemy killed. Damage dealt was five. I think that guy was just weak, but I think it might do extra damage. So I'm thinking what we could do is just bring these back with us. And uh, we, they'll be like souvenirs. We'll put them up on the mantle above the fireplace or that kind of thing. So I'm, I'm going to put it away for now. I don't want it to corrode. So if I think if we put it inside a chest, it won't corrode. I'm not sure. Ooga booga! That means cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your mud flaps. We want something good here. So let's see what we got. What is that? A sludge slicer. Another weapon. Four damage, 1.6 speed. Durability is really, really low. But it kills... I think this. I think there's a thing called a sludge. It's a monster or some kind of a mob here. I've never seen one. They must be way down deep in the between lands or maybe a different biome. I'm not really sure. I think they might be underground. And the sludge slicer is apparently good for killing them. But once again, I'm going to put it in here for now. And we're going to hold on to it. We'll bring it back home. And it will be a souvenir. All right, we got one item scroll left. So let's see what this is. Hopefully we get something unique. Oh, it's done. It's done. Oh, look at that. It's a swift pick. Beautiful. Let's grab it and give it a try. So what does a swift pick do? Uh, again, I don't really know. Oh, man, it's corroding already. What a shame. Let's go down and do some picking. Let's come on down here where all the uh, stone is, and we'll just try it out. Holy cow. Wow. It's like a one single hit. <laughs> It breaks up between stone in one hit. That is crazy fast. It does have a durability, obviously. Oh, this is a much higher durability than those uh, than the weapons. But even so, it can't be it can't be repaired. As far as I know, these unique items cannot be repaired. But yeah, wow, this thing is like it's an insta hit, insta break. Really, really nice. Um, all right, cool. Well, we're gonna bring that back home. So we'll use it as a uh, like I said, we'll have some souvenirs. So I think for right now, we're just going to store it away with the other souvenirs. We'll put it right over here with the sludge slicer and the critter cruncher. <laughs> and we'll hang those up on the mantle or whatever when we get back home. Oh, and I want to make a shield. I want to make a shield. So check out these shields, right? These are really amazing shields. We have an octane shield. We, got, we definitely have enough octane to make this thing. And it sets enemies on fire. <laughs> Um, but we have this Valonite shield, too, which is stronger, I think, than the Octane. And it can also be used to knock enemies back. So if you hold down the left shift and right click to charge it up, then you let go of left shift and you charge the enemies. And I think it knocks them on their butts. And you can even put gems in there, too. Ooh. All right, let's, you know what? Let's make that. Let's make the shield. What was it again? Pit stone. Oh, do we have pit stone? I know I have some pitstone. I brought some home. Where's my? Where's all my pitstone at? 
Um, pit stone. We have a little bit pit stone brick, so here we go. Just one pit stone. And we should be able to make this thing now. There we go. Boom! All right, and that, I think maybe we'll put a red gem in that one. So when the enemy strikes us and we block it, it can take some damage, right? I'm assuming this is armor. Chance to hurt the enemy when attacked. Yeah, let's try it. Doesn't show up on there, though. That's kind of a shame. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, look at that, man. We match. We match 100%. Let's put the helmet on, too. Oh, man, look at us. Dress to kill, full battle rattle. Oh, yeah, look at us now. I do wish that red gem would show up in the actual shield, though, in the world. That would look really, really cool. Oh, oh, I just did it. I just did the thing with the thing. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but let's try it. So if you hold down left shift, right mouse. Oh, yeah. So I'm prepared and I let go. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Why? Just, you basically just charge forward. But we need to hit somebody with it. So let's go find... Let's go find a volunteer. Hello, anybody? Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got a straight-up fighter. Let's whack him. Holy smokes! <laughs> Knocked him back. Well, that hurts, doesn't it? Oh, my gosh. We charged him and crushed him in two hits. You see him fly backwards? Wow. And I think the, uh, the red gem effect did some damage, too. I saw the, the particles and that little beeping sound or... The jingle. Uh, yeah, we killed him. We killed him with a shield. He didn't even have to swing the sword. So yeah, check that out. So you bring it up, and then you get ready to charge. You let go, and you race forward and smash everybody in the way. Look at this guy. Everybody's coming to say goodbye. Hi, bud. Come out over here. Let's bring him in. Ready to get smashed in the face with my shield? Bang! Knocked him back good. Just gonna get on my bridge. Get off my bridge! Boom! My bridge! <laughs> That's awesome. All right, come on back. I'm not done with you, fool. Yeah, I really like it. Very, very cool. And and that Valonite is super durable. So this thing's going to last a really long time. I wonder if we can fix it with Valonite. Oh, yeah, we can. So we can always just put some Valonite shards on it and repair it. We've got 10 left over. So that should last us a while. And if we run out of Valonite shards, we can always come back and get more in the future. We should put him in a cage, too. Let's let's check out that cage. Gecko cage. Maybe just bring this guy back home with us. Yeah, okay, we have Sermorite. We'll just bring the gecko home. He's cool. I see you in there. Hey, don't you stick your... You get back over here, you. That's so rude. Ooga booga. That means, my, what a big crack you have between lands. Look at the size of that crack in the sky that just opened up. And we can see the surface world up there. It's calling us home. We're almost there, guys. Yep, we're almost, almost ready to head home. Just a few more things to do. And by the way, I grabbed my Ayat. Ayat, black quartz Ayat. This is what we came down here with. And I put a bunch of stuff away that we're going to leave here behind. In case we come back to the Between Lands, which we will most likely do eventually. We'll have some equipment uh, waiting here for us, of course. But I am bringing home a bunch of souvenirs. Including our Semerite armor. We'll put that on an armor stand. That'll look real nice. Our death compass that we died. We died more than once here, I think. Uh, Swift pick. Our sludge slicer, critter cruncher, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Now, I just found a root pod in a, uh, a box over here. I forgot that we had this thing. And apparently, we can animate the root pod. And it turns into like a little Groot. So, I'm super excited to see little Groot. Now, I don't think little Groot's going to be tame. So, we're basically animating a root pod into a one of those little tree sprite things. Oh, it locked me out. Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's so adorable. Come here. How do I pick you up? I can't pick him up. Oh, I was hoping he was going to be like an item you could carry around. Hi, it's okay. We're all friends here. Let's make sure the doors are closed. Look at him. Oh, aren't you cute? Can we bring you home? Come here, buddy. Oh, wait, is he friendly? Oh, maybe he does trust me. Maybe it's like a fox in uh, regular Minecraft, right? Seems like he's trusting us, right? Not trying to get away. He's a little Groot. <laughs> Listen to him creaking. That's how they whine. You whine a lot, kid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Yeah, I was hoping it was going to be like a little item we could put in our inventory and then bring him home and release him back um, at the surface world. All right, anyway, let's make our... 
uh, no, not animator. I want to make that other thing. What was it? It was the gecko box. Yeah, this thing right here. We have everything. Oh, we need, uh, we need these thingamabobs. So now we should be able to make it. There we go. Gecko cage. All right, pal, you stay here. We'll be right back. Let's go grab a gecko. And now we can make our net. And now we can not only snatch up geckos, but apparently fireflies, too. How come we didn't do this? We've been here all this time. Come here. Gotcha. He stuck his tongue out at me, and I caught him. Get him in there. <laughs> Look at that. Now, how do we get him out? Um, can we just take this like it is? Oh, we did a kind heart. So we got him. He's in there. Oh, no, he's not. He's out. How did you get out? Oh, you little stinker. Uh, all right, then tell you what. Let's scoop him up. And we'll just carry him like this. We don't even need the cage. But when we get home, back to the surface, we can stick the gecko in the cage, right? We can release him, snatch him, put him in the cage. That is pretty cool stuff. Can we catch? We can't snatch snails with nets. But we can catch fireflies. So let's go catch a firefly. I want to bring a firefly home. Oh, I see one. I see one. And it's raining. <laughs> And a lightning bolt just struck right here out in the water. So we gotta we gotta do this quick. Come here, little buddy. Let's scoop him up. We got one. Oh, check him out. That is really cool. How come we didn't do this a long time ago? I didn't know we could. So I'm glad we discovered this before heading back home. Of course, we can always come back here. I mean, the portal is right close to home. Back at our deluxe Uka uh, Uga Booga cave. Uga Booga. That means the crack is closing. No. Guys, we'll be home in a few minutes. Let's hustle it up. Not that we need the crack because we have the teleporter, of course. But uh, I would like to get back ASAP. So let's go ahead and we're going to make a... Let's make an octane shield. And then we're going to make the axe, right? The, uh, the Valonite axe. And then we can get out of here. Unfortunately, it seems like a uh, little Groot, a little Groot friend has disappeared. He um, despawned. So we have to keep that in mind when we get back home. We're going to want to put names on our little gecko and uh, the um, and the firefly so they don't so they don't despawn. So we're not going to release them until we have some name tags and we can give them some names and they can fly around the Ooga Booga cave. That would be pretty cool. All right, let's let's uh, let's see. So we have our shield. Now, this shield actually sets enemies on fire. I don't know if it's going to be any better than uh, the Valonite shield, but I figured, what the heck, we'll make it. It's kind of cool. We had plenty of octane, so no big deal. Now, this is a big deal. We want to make the axe. We're going to make a Valonite axe. This weapon is going to be tremendous. And then we're just going to get the heck out of here as fast as possible before this starts to corrode. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Valonite axe. There it is. And we're going to put some scabs around it. And that well coats it. Keeps it nice and coated. Oh, we have onions, have layers. Uh, we got a new achievement too. So now we can go. And this will not corrode because we just coated it with that scabbous stuff. And then, uh, well, let's put a, uh, let's put, I want to put a red gem on it. Yes, red gem. That's going to give us strength. Chance to gain strength when attacking. So we're going to hit so hard with this thing. It's now 9 damage. Plus, if we get a little strength bonus once in a while, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be wrecking fools with just single hits. It's going to be amazing. All right, let's get to the portal. Yeah, it's getting really laggy here, too, because I had to quit and come back. And uh, that's kind of the same as transitioning sometimes. Yeah, it's really really slow sometimes so all right this is it i ready ooga booga that means uh goodbye between lands it was fun while it lasted and i can't see through this stuff okay that's better now i can see you okay goodbye we'll see oh <laughs> oh my what are you are you kidding me we got interrupted who is this fool and, and i can't even move i can't even see what is going on who's in here Oh, it's a swamp hag. What the heck? Where did the swamp hag come from? And fireflies and stuff. Well, he's, not, he's set on fire. Oh, my gosh. He's knocking on the octane shield. I'm going to whack him with my axe. There we go. Bang! Get wrecked. What just happened, guys? We got sent back. Somebody interrupted us. All right. That guy just, uh, he just interrupted the teleport. Right? Where are we? Oh! Oh, no, we are home! And the hag followed us through. 
Hey, we got fireflies here. And snails. Oh, I didn't know that they would come through the portal. That was really cool, actually. <laughs> that there was a hag here. She did not want us to leave. Well, you know, I have that effect on hags. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, a, it's an attraction thing. It's an attraction problem that I have. Yeah. Anyway, here we are, back at the Ooga Booga Cave, and unfortunately it is lagging just a little bit. But maybe we can get inside and say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody! Oh, look at all the goodies in there. Hold the phone. Let me snatch all this stuff up. And then we're gonna, uh, then we're gonna get inside and call it a day, because I'm gonna have to restart the whole mod pack. And that's like, takes like five minutes to load. It's nuts. Oh, look at all the fish over here waiting. That's great. <laughs> We're back! Ooga Booga! Hero Pig! Everybody here? Here's Hero Pig. Working away, that's good, like to hear it. And... Ooh, 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 okay, thought we were gonna crash there. And, uh... Oh gosh. What, uh, what's this horse's name again? I forgot! Oh, that's so bad! We've been gone so long that I forgot the horse's name. Um, oh my... What the heck? The wolf lost his name? Wait a minute. We did give these guys names, didn't we? We had an Ooga and a Booga. Yeah. Oh, maybe we didn't. Did we ever find name tags? Holy cow, I don't remember, guys. If we, Well, hey. Yeah, this lag is driving me nuts here. But, all right. Uh, I know, I forgot your name. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. What's that? Chuck. Yes, you're right. It's Chuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chuck. So great to be back. And then this thing, the luminous crafting table, that's what we're going to start working on next. But again, I'm going to get organized. I'm going to put all this stuff out. Yeah, we have all kinds of souvenirs. So we're going to put stuff in cases. We'll hang them up on the walls. We'll put armor um, stands up. So with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.